Coverage you can count on continuing in Burke County. Head football coach Eric Parker is recovering after he collapsed at a game in Wayne County last night. News Channel 6's Tiffany Hobbs has more on his condition and how the community is reacting. Parker collapsed on the field during the first half of the Bears' game. Tonight, the community is coming together in prayer for him. Parker was taken by ambulance, then airlifted to a hospital in Savannah. In a statement, Coach Parker's wife, Rashawn, says that thanks to a quick response by local medical personnel, he is stable and doing well. From talking to his wife, everything was like God planned because usually the helicopter's not there. So that all worked out. Usually on a Monday night, he's not on the football field. Um, he probably would have been home or could have been riding along to the house. Could, this could have happened. Nobody could have been around, so it could have been ugly. So she's very grateful for what happened with the situation. Pastor Westby says he got to the game during the second quarter and the ambulance was already there. He says that doctors are expecting a full recovery. Coach Parker has been a head coach in the CSRA since 1997. He's won 206 games in a state championship with Burke County in 2011. Robert Allen, assistant director at Burke County Recreation, says he's known Coach Parker for about eight years. In a statement to News Channel 6, he said, He looks out for all the kids. He's just a good guy. He's a good person. Plus, he's a family guy and into the church. I would do anything for him. And I think all coaches would do the same thing. Allen is also a high school community coach. He was at the game when Coach Parker collapsed, and he says it shocked a lot of people, especially the students. Coach Park is not only a coach, but he's also been there for the community, for individual students, and for all my organizations I've been a part of. He always is supported, so why not support a brother in this time of need? So the way we can support him is pray. Tonight's prayer vigil will be held at the Bear Den, the high school's football field, at 6 p.m. Representatives from the school say that Parker will remain in the hospital for a few days and that he is in good hands. In Burke County, Tiffany Hobbs, WJBF, News Channel 6.